what's up you guys and welcome to the channel my name is amanda marie and over here i love to discuss all things fragrance so if you're someone that is into smelling good i would love for you to hit that subscribe button in today's video we're going to be discussing some new release fragrances i'm really excited to talk about the newest release from forever mood and if you're not familiar with the brand forever mood it is jackie ina's candle company and she released four new fragrances under forever mood and the one that i have is i am her the other three are going to be you remind me hard to get nda i believe that is all of them yeah there's four of them i really wanted to get my hands on you remind me because after reading the notes it just seemed like the type of fragrance that i would go for it it comes off as a, a second skin your skin the better type of scent. you guys know i live for those type of fragrances i don't know what it is about a fresh clean skin like scent that just drives me absolutely crazy you can get her fragrances from sephora so when i went on sephora to look at the fragrances I noticed that I was able to get like an early, is it an early bird special or early buy or first exclusive, whatever, whatever. I was able to get I Am Her. So I went ahead and purchased this fragrance. These fragrances retail for $79, okay? You can get them in a mini size and the minis uh, go for $28. The Discovery set goes for $24 and you get a chance to experience all of the fragrances, all four. So at some point, I have seen a lot of people talk about her fragrances online and they were actually in the Sephora store and they had a display. So you can go in there and smell the fragrances for yourself if you're kind of leery to blind buy and things of that nature. There has been a ton of conversation behind these fragrances. I just want to talk about the fragrance before I get into my actual thoughts on the fragrance per se, um, because I do have an overall general feel about the fragrance. With this one in particular, I can't speak on the other three because I don't have them and I haven't smelled them. But I can give you my thoughts on I Am Her. So let's talk about the notes real fast before we go into my thoughts. Okay, so in this fragrance, you have red velvet, you have pear, you have oud. But as I read the description of the fragrance, there is raspberry in this fragrance. And when I did my first initial um, first impressions uh, video, I put it on Instagram. I did read the note raspberry, but then I second guessed myself because I was like, it's not raspberry, it's red velvet. Anyway, there is red velvet and there is raspberry. But I feel like I pick up on a few other notes in this fragrance that are not listed, okay? And I know that sometimes brands and perfumers don't like to list their whole note breakdown because they don't want people to dupe them and copy them and things of that nature like I get it so but I still feel like I pick up a floral note in this fragrance so we're just going to give her a little bit of a spray I'm going to spray some on my hand here let that air out so at my first initial thought when I first smell this fragrance the first thing that comes to mind is that this reminds me of something that I've smelled before. A very popular fragrance, might I add, that actually went viral probably in like 2020, okay? And I'm referring to Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Belle, the original release. If you were just like me and you jumped on the whole fragrance, Band, well, I never jumped, I didn't jump on the fragrance bandwagon in 2019 or 2020. I jumped on YouTube then. I've always been on the fragrance bandwagon, okay? But 
that's when I started my YouTube channel and that fragrance was constantly being talked about. And this fragrance smells very similar to Jean-Paul Gaultier's Labelle. Very similar. And I'm not saying that this is a dupe, but it instantly reminds me of that fragrance. As far as what I'm picking up on smell, I'm getting a very juicy pear very juicy I mean it is dripping okay the pear is just it's undeniable like you cannot get away from that pear note it's actually quite delicious in this fragrance if I'm being honest I love the pear note and again the other juicy pear that I love is in La Belle as well now this is considered to be a gourmand and I would say this is not an over top gourmand for me. I have smelled other fragrances that instantly you know it's a gourmand. And gourmands for me are fragrances that give off this feel of I just want to take a bite out of my skin. Like it makes me hungry. It smells like a dessert. Super sweet. Those type of, those are the gourmands that I'm used to. This is not, granted it's sweet. Okay, it is sweet, but it doesn't necessarily give me gourmand per se. It gives me gourmand-esque. It gives me a, a little bit of a feel of a gourmand, but I wouldn't necessarily classify this as a true gourmand fragrance. Now, as far as the oud, because I want to talk about the oud, because I know a lot of people don't really mess with oud and fragrances. If you are that person that does not like a oud scent, you don't want to, you stay clear from the oud, honey. You don't want the oud on you. You don't want to be around the oud. You just like elf the oud. I think you will be okay with this fragrance because in, in my opinion, I'm not picking up on oud at all. Period. Point that blank. I'm not getting a hint of oud, a splash of oud, no oud. But I'm not picking up on that animalic barnyard type of oud scent, okay, in this fragrance. So I think if you are worried about the oud, you really don't have to be because I don't get it in this fragrance. Now, as far as the red velvet and the raspberry, I feel like I'm picking up hints of both, okay. Because I've been wearing this for two days now. Like today is Sunday. I literally wore this all day Saturday because I wanted to come on here and give it a fair review. Um, I do pick up this cakey type of scent here and it could be the red velvet. It does. Now, now red velvet is a southern thing. Okay. Um, it's real deep and heavy down here in the south. So red velvet, I know red velvet, and red velvet is nothing but chocolate cake and buttercream icing and food coloring. That's all that red velvet is, y'all. This is no, nothing major or, or crazy behind red velvet. So I do get that chocolatey type of scent coming from this fragrance. I do get hints of the raspberry every now and again okay so i rank this fragrance a seven out of ten and here is why we all know jackie okay she has this very big online presence and i've been following her from since she was like three names ago two or three names ago okay that's how long i've been following her so i've seen the progression of you know her online status i don't necessarily want to say her life because i feel like um she doesn't give us everything that goes on in her life which i think is amazing some things you should just leave to yourself because if you don't like what else are you gonna have you know what i mean but as she stands today the jackie Ina today she gives me very much high end very much high end like you know i want to say she was one of the first creators to have a car sponsorship okay i'm not since then i may have seen one other influencer or maybe two that have had 
brand deals with freaking car dealerships like not dealerships but car brands you know what i mean um you know she's very much into her style she's very much into her look her home is gorgeous okay like there are not a lot of people living in the type of homes that she lives in she in my opinion is literally at this point as it stands today i feel like she is in that one percent okay and if you don't know what the one percent is google it child but i feel like she's in that one percent so when someone someone like that releases something in my mind and maybe this is where i got caught up because i had this expectation of grander okay um and 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 this doesn't necessarily give me grander okay but it's not bad don't come for me just yet because i know y'all got y'all thumbs ready to just, just fire off in the comments hold on okay just hear me out i don't get necessarily luxury and i don't know if that's what she was going for she may not have been going for that again it my own expectations and that's me totally me okay um but i don't necessarily get the grandeur i don't get the opulence per se from the fragrance which is what i was expecting you know the bottle is beautiful let me touch on that real quick too before i finish my thought okay this is glass y'all this is not plastic okay now the top is plastic but the bottle itself is definitely giving it's definitely glass the bottle came in a box there was no cellophane there um which i understand a lot of brands are getting away from plastic they're getting away from cellophane because it's bad for the environment i get that also so i'm not knocking her for that it, whatever to i'm totally here for helping the environment okay totally also had to factor in the longevity of the fragrance it's important to a lot of consumers you know when they're spending upward of a hundred dollars i think the longevity is is up there because i listen to y'all in the comments and i'm i'm not just going from the dome from this okay i listen to y'all 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 rip me a new one every time i talk about a fragrance that i love y'all always tell me how it doesn't last so I know that longevity is very important to y'all. So I'm not pulling this out of my butt. I am really just telling y'all what y'all be thinking. I'm saying what y'all be thinking, okay? So, and for myself personally, because I wore it yesterday for the whole day. It started going light on me, okay? At the two, three, at the two hour mark, it started going light on me you know it started disappearing on my skin so it also could be a situation where the fragrance needs to sit a little bit okay let's keep that in mind too trust me i've thought all the things it may just need to sit you know sometimes um when we get fragrances they don't perform the way we think and and when you spray it and go back to it like a month later it's fine it's better than what it was when you first sprayed it so it could just be a situation like that where it just needs to sit a little bit i'm really excited to really come back to this fragrance in about a month and see how it performs but as it stands right now the performance is very mild again i think this is a pretty scent if you are someone that is not into spending a lot of money on fragrances and um you know you're very conscious about the money your money and how you spend it i think this would be a perfect op option for you because again it's 79 dollars um it smells pretty if you're someone that is into sweet feminine pretty fragrances you will like this so there's a lot of upsides to this my only downside to it is just the feel of it and then the fact that it smells like labelle so again this is i am her by forever mood you guys know that i love boho boco perfumes 
let me just start off by saying this before I get into the newest release this is called magic mushrooms I know that Boho Boco is a and it's a brand that is an acquired taste okay everyone won't dig the fragrances um, some of them people say that they find them difficult to wear and things like that they have so many fragrances out i don't know at this point maybe 20 15 20 like they got they have a lot so i think it's definitely one of the brands that you sample before you buy there may be two okay um that i feel like are like a safe buy and it's gonna be sea salt caramel and vanilla black pepper is it vanilla black pepper yeah vanilla black pepper yeah i think those two are really safe blind buys if you're someone that has experience with niche brands indie brands okay because indie brands and niche brands they go off into a different spectrum they're so different from designer in my opinion especially the indie i feel like the indie brands have a lot more creative say so in their fragrances like what they want to put in them ingredients things of that nature they have a lot more uh say so with the creative um vibe of the fragrance so with this brand boho boco i totally could see that individuality okay i could smell it in the fragrances i could tell that there's not really anybody holding the perfumer back and i want to say his name is Mikal, let's say he pretty much has created all of the fragrances behind Boho Boco. So I get, I, I think at a point in my life, in my fragrance uh, journey since I started my channel, what was happening is I was starting to feel like I was smelling the same things over and over again. It got quite boring. It got a uh, very redundant and I just, I felt like I hit a bottom. And then they started gifting me fragrances. And when I smelled them, I was like, what is this? Like, girl, what is this? It was something exciting. It was something new at a time when I needed something different. And so I really do appreciate this brand because I feel like they just really, they unlock different areas in my mind when it comes to fragrances and I, I go on this exploration and things of that nature so i really do enjoy boho boco fragrances and i'm so happy that they gifted me magic mushrooms i didn't think i was gonna get it but here we are in the magic mushrooms you get cypress uh grapefruit cardamom in the middle you get mushroom green notes cannabis cassis divana thyme immortelle clove lavender ylang ylang and in the base you get moss aquatic notes patchouli and vetiver i'm going to spray magic mushroom on this hand since it's free and we're gonna talk about it uh initially right away i get this very earthy aromatic green essence okay it's very green it smells like not like dirt but fresh green herbal type of smell and i want to say it could be a combination of everything green in this like the cypress the thyme the freaking immortelle the cassis the divana green notes and this basically says green notes like i get all of that okay this fragrance actually takes me in different stages like i go from here to there to there and it's so exciting it's almost like i'm on a trip you know what i'm saying i guess when people do like extracurricular activities you do go on a little bit of a trip. You do go on a trip, not a little bit, especially if you're dealing with the shrooms, girl. You're gonna go on a trip, okay? And that is exactly what I experienced with this fragrance because now it's starting to take me into more of that herbal essence. You get the cannabis for real, for real. 
like if you're someone that has always thought about uh, exploring cannabis fragrances then you would enjoy this and it's not that type of cannabis that smells dirty this cannabis smells high-end high quality like if you are into that thing imagine the most money you've ever spent on a bag I don't know what y'all kids call it today like a baggie I don't know y'all I don't know I'm not into like you know um, this the things okay <laughs> Uh, you know, but it, back in my day, you know what I'm saying? I partook a little bit of the things, okay? But I get that very cannabis smell, and it smells so good. As this dries down, I'm picking up on the base notes. I'm picking up on that moss that is kind of giving like an oak moss smell, like a very earthy, damp type of situation okay now it mentioned aquatic notes and it's, this does not come off aquatic at all if anything it comes off kind of like a wet feel like a like a soft damp earthy ground wetness after a nice downpour it smells wet and damp and earthy okay that's that's the vibe that I get from this fragrance I'm pulling that patchouli in the vetiver it gives me sexy stoner when i smell this i think about people like um wiz khalifa wiz khalifa to me is very sexy you know but he he like his he like his joints you know what i'm saying and also like people like snoop dogg you know he always clean he always have his hair did you know he wouldn't necessarily be what i would call sexy but he has a bit of a sexy appeal to him you know with his glasses on and his jewelry and his swagger like that's this that is this in a bottle like i would wear this just because i like that smell you know so i really give this a 10 out of 10 i think it is so good and you know interesting thing is i want to speak on that elang elang real quick funny thing of it is before i wrap it up that elang elang is giving it a little bit of a sweetness almost kind of like a very girly vibe okay that's that's the direction that this fragrance is going in it's a trip y'all it's a trip even down to the juice y'all the juice is so trippy i don't think i've ever had a fragrance where the juice is like it's giving pink it's giving psychedelic okay i give it tens across the board the packaging is unique y'all know these tops are velvet the bottles are very minimalistic this is like a sticker but it's on straight it looks good i can see my juice like you know those are like the things that i look at sometimes i consider um with fragrances I, I like to see my juice in the bottle um because if one day i ever empty a bottle i want to take a picture of it so i need to see you know what i mean like oh yeah i did that i emptied this bottle okay but yeah y'all i could definitely see myself wearing this during spring right now because it smells very much like springy it's been raining a lot where i live anyway um but it's, it definitely gives me those spring time vibes i think this would smell great on a man oh my god this the girls would go crazy when they smell this on a guy it smells ooh, mm, so good i gotta figure out what i would layer with this We'll think y'all know if y'all not y'all haven't been following me on Instagram, y'all need to go follow me on Instagram, honey, because my layering combos have been nothing but fire. Okay, I've stepped my layering game up, as y'all will see in the next video that I put up this week. I'm gonna be talking about my layering combinations. I've done six of them so far. Okay, let me pat myself on the back, baby, because I didn't think I could do it. Y'all know I'm not the one for layering. I used to not be the one for layering. I can lay my ass off now, okay? But yeah, I like this fragrance. If you guys have smelled this fragrance, please comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Again, this is Magic Mushrooms from Boho Boco. I got gifted a fragrance from Harlem 
Perfume Co. or Harlem Candle Co. I think their candles are Harlem Candle Co. And then the perfumes, the bottles say Harlem Perfume Co. Um, they are a black owned brand that is located in New York City. They do have a storefront. I will leave all their information down below in the description box in case you're in New York or you live there and you want to go put your nose on some of their fragrances. Highly recommend. The first time I heard about this brand was through uh, Travaglia wallace i believe her last name is wallace she's on all the social medias i don't think she does youtube though but she's definitely on tiktok and she's definitely on instagram and she had an event at her store she works at nordstrom she had an event there and she invited a lot of black owned brands um and harlem candle co came out and i trust travalia's nose y'all i trust her nose when that lady says something smell good she don't be lying. She's definitely one of those influencers that she would recommend a fragrance and I would literally blind buy it. I have before already. So I trust her nose. So let's get into Duke. This is their newest release. So they have a few other fragrances and they all have names of black icons like Josephine Baker, um, Billie Holiday, Duke Ellington, Langston Hughes. So I love that concept. I love that, that type of feel. It gives old Harlem where people dress up all the time. They, they took pride in their look. They were all about music and being on the scene and just, you know, they had a different lifestyle back then. And I love, I love that whole Harlem era. Like I love it. So we're going to get into Duke though. Let me give you the notes. In the top, you have pink pepper, you have lemon, you have bergamot, you have ginger zest. In the middle, you have tobacco, rock rose, you have lavender, olibanum, and in the base, you have bourbon honey, guayac wood, and resin. So I would tell you guys, this for me, oh my God, it is so sexy. Let me just spray a little bit in the air. Oh, this fragrance is so freaking sexy, okay? You get this creamy, sweet, resinous fragrance. It definitely feels warm. It smells like something that I would normally go for in the cooler months or the cold months. It does also have a little bit of a, it leans a little masculine to me in my opinion um it also could put you in the frame of mind of fragrances like tobacco vinyl okay but i think it's i think it goes in a different direction than tobacco vinyl it goes sweeter that bourbon honey y'all is so freaking decadent and delicious like i can drink this ish it smells so good i love i'm not a drinker like i'm definitely not drinking bourbon but in fragrance oh my god y'all know i love me a bourbon vanilla I, now i love me a bourbon honey i didn't even know there was such a thing the other note that i really dig in this fragrance and i can smell it more so when i spray it on my skin is that ginger zest i'm used to fragrances that have you know some type of citrus in the top like lemon or bergamot but that ginger zest give this fragrance like a soft spice but it is zesty okay and i love that in this fragrance you're definitely gonna pick up on the tobacco it's giving me more so of a subtle smoke and maybe a tobacco leaf versus a big huge tobacco smell i think tobacco vini is it smells like tobacco leaf, but it also reminds me of the person licking the leaf and rolling it. I can, I feel like in tobacco vinyl, I can smell that person's saliva, and I don't like that. Like, I, I don't know how I pick. I don't know if it's in my head, but I swear to God, I pick that up every time I smell tobacco vinyl. And if you guys notice, I love Tom Ford. Okay, I have all the Tom Ford fragrances. I just do not own a full-size bottle of tobacco vinyl. Y'all really haven't heard me talk about it on this channel. 
and that's because of that damn scent that I pick up in tobacco vinyl. This would be my kind of tobacco fragrance. This is what I would grab for over tobacco vinyl because it doesn't give me that. It just gives me like a pure, authentic, tobacco leafy type of smell with a little bit of smoke okay definitely reminds me of a jazz club it's smooth okay it has a lot of swagger and i do think that it leans a bit masculine so i don't know if this is something that the ladies would go for i think the guys would definitely love this fragrance me personally i love it i would wear it on a date night um if it's like hot outside you know it's summertime or whatever definitely something that i would wear in the cooler months this would make a great sweater weather fragrance you know heavy coat type of fragrance that type of vibe okay those are the vibes that this fragrance gives off but overall i think it's a 10 out of 10 for me i love it now i did sample josephine baker and i love that one kind of wish i would have got josephine baker in a full-size bottle but that's okay i'll just purchase my own because that one is really nice too it's it's definitely giving kind of like this but way more feminine okay so yeah if you guys live in new york and you want to go check out harlem candle co slash harlem perfume co i will leave everything down below so y'all can go check them out but y'all their fragrances are amazing and they've been in a lot of publications like Cosmo, Cosmo is it Cosmopolitan Magazine child? Anywho, they're, they're all over the place. Again, this is Duke from Harlem Perfume Co. I want to send a big shout out to the team at Boho Boco and also the team at um, Harlem Perfume Co for sending me their fragrances thank you guys so much i love it love it love it love it that you guys think about me when you're doing your pr so i appreciate that a lot so yeah if you guys have any of the fragrances that i've mentioned in this video go ahead and leave me a comment down below let me know what you think let me know how you feel about the new uh forever mood fragrances comment down below if you're someone that is into smelling good maybe you're trying to build a collection or maybe you just want to know a little bit more about fragrances i would love for you to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bells that way you'll be notified every time i upload a video and you don't miss out don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on your way out it uh, means a lot to me and the growth of my channel if you hit that button so thank you in advance thank you guys so much for tuning in to my video i hope you are having a fabulous day and i hope you are smelling good doing it i will see you in the next video bye